Hello children over 30, it's Drew here back with another product review and we're going to be talking about these bad boys, some shit you probably want. So this is actually going to be a series of reviews. Um, Leon Basson, who is, you know, responsible for this essentially, saw a couple of my videos and he offered to send me a set of wizard frames to try out, which is awesome. And then, um, you know, I got to talking to him and he's like, well, would you like, you know, the whole wizard setup to try out? And I was like, hell yeah, I'm not going to turn that down ever. That sounds awesome. So again, through his saintly intervention, I get to skate these around for a while. And I thought it would be cool since I got the whole wizard skate, which, you know, is really the sum of a lot of parts. I should review all of those parts individually and maybe do one of like the whole thing as a whole. I don't know if I'm gonna do that yet, we'll see. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the Seba SX boot. So according to Seba and some other resources, this is the same boot that comes on the CJ Wellsmore. it's just an all black. This is of course a gutted version made to fit in the Intuition liner. It has a carbon fiber lower shell and then there's a composite plastic cuff on it. And I can tell you the, the top of it they somehow managed to do a better soft boot than K2. And here's what I mean by that. On my Midtown's right here, and it's been the same on any K2 I've ever tried. Certainly anything that's coming out new is gonna be like this. But the throat, I think it's called, right here, is fairly narrow. And again, on all the new models, they have you know some plastic built into the liner on the outside. So, you know, while it is a soft boot design, you don't really get a whole lot of variance in the tightness that you can get over the top of your foot right here. I mean, you can have them looser or tighter, but it's going to feel basically the same either way, aside from, you know, how much movement you have, maybe vertically. On this Seba, that is wider than a motherfucker. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's basically the width of like the whole top of your foot and then the laces are over that. And then the material around it is very malleable. It feels um, kind of leathery maybe, and you know, real squishy. And these, uh, if you get real tight on the laces, you can feel it. And if you get real loose on the laces, you can feel it. So it's a very nuanced kind of skate in that way. Also in one of my other videos I mentioned on soft boots, sometimes it's nice to have a set of laces for right here to really dial in the pressure on the top of the foot and then another set of laces right here for the ankle. And in my mind, there's really not a better candidate for that type of lacing system than this boot. Because of the carbon fiber, it is super light. And also, unlike the K2, there is not that backward lean. Everybody bitches about the K2 lean back. This doesn't have that. This little thing right here, this little plastic plate, is a nice feature, I think especially if you're going to spend this much money on boots, carbon fiber boots, uh, you don't want to be sliding through your carbon fiber. So it was really thoughtful of them to put this on here and uh, to help protect from that. My one big criticism is I'm not a big fan of the buckle at this point. It's just kind of weird. Um, I mean, and it's cool that, you know, it feeds inside the cuff. So there's not a whole bunch of buckles sticking out on one side. Um, but it's kind of a pain in the ass. And it's a pain in the ass to the point where sometimes I'll settle on having the buckles a little bit looser than I originally intended them to get just cause fuck it, like whatever, it'll probably be fine. I should also mention because of the really wide lace throat and very malleable top, this 45 degree strap actually does what it's supposed to do. 45 degree straps on hard boots, they're fine. You can kind of tell they're there. But on something like this, it really, really does its job. The one downside to having a skate where the laces and the straps do this much is you're going to take your time putting them on. I'm not sure what size shell this is. Uh, I normally wear a 10 and K2 and rollerblade. And this feels about the same. It's maybe just a tiny, tiny bit uh, shallower in the shell, in the toe. So I'm going to have to ask Leon what size shell this is. But I will say that, and I have pretty wide feet, the shell fits my feet really, really well. Again, coming from K2 and Rollerblade, um, every K2 that you get is going to be exactly the size of your foot, assuming you get the right size. And Rollerblade is within 
uh, a half a centimeter, so five millimeters of exactly your right shell size. And this is the same type of deal, which it very well should be, you know, again, considering how much they cost. I haven't got a chance to try them out with the sole plates yet, so I'm definitely going to be doing that um, before the second part of this review. And I'm a little bit concerned with that just because they're the type of sole plates that only mount to the UFS bolts, and that makes me nervous. Especially if you're riding frames like these and you can't just stick an Allen key down in there real easy and make sure the frame bolts are tightened before you go skate every time, they could potentially be kind of a pain in the ass. I know Sean from Shop Task actually cut his sole plate and then screwed it into the boot in various places, which if this belonged to me, I would probably be down to do, but it's it's Leon skates, so I'm not I'm not gonna drill holes in it and put screws in them. Overall, first impressions, this is an excellent shell. The carbon fiber is super responsive. It feels a lot like a K2, but without the things that I don't like about K2, the buckles, uh, I could I could lose them if at all possible. But everything else, man, uh, if somebody wanted to trade me this boot for my Midtown boots, I would do it in a heartbeat. If somebody wanted to trade me my TRS shells for this, I'd do it in a heartbeat. And they're Tresseters. All right, here we go. Seba SX boot review part two. So I got the soles on these, as you can see. And let me just say, these are fast sliding motherfuckers. They, dude, it's awesome. Like, you just... Sometimes I'm like going up for like a stall on something and I'll end up sliding a little bit like it's super dope And the size I think is just about perfect. I'm finding I like soles that are about uh, About an inch and a half wide and I think these are maybe just a little bit more than that Maybe but it's about perfect negatives again. I don't really do any negatives But I would say it's at least like an inch on these maybe even getting closer to like an inch and a quarter and uh for real, like I'm gonna try not to send these back to Leon. I'm gonna ask him how much he wants for them Because I think I can maybe like Frankenstein them onto some Solomon boots and that would be dope as fuck um, By the way, these will fit on your carbons, too. I just saw somebody on um, I think it was blade tech or setups or something like that got some of these and ordered some new soles for them right away and I told him like just you know chill on that like check them out. They're pretty dope and then the next day he posted like, oh my God, this is like easily twice as fast as the fucking carbon sole. So anything that you're currently putting a carbon sole on, stop it and put a Seba sole on it. Like they're better. They're just better. One thing, because they don't have other mounts besides the UFS bolt mounts, you kind of have to tighten the bolts basically every time before you go skate or after you skate, which isn't a huge pain in the ass depending on like what frames you're running. It would definitely be a consideration for me, I think, if I was keeping this boot, like what frames to put on it based on what I could get an Allen wrench into the easiest. And, you know, it's not like they're falling out after one session or anything like that, but they do loosen up a little bit. And when they loosen up, they start to flex a lot laterally. And then it just starts to slow all your shit down. And then suddenly your soles that were lightning fast are just kind of meh and, you know, you're not having as much fun anymore. So to, to maximize fun, it is very important to tighten your UFS bolts. So I mentioned in the earlier part of the video that this was a better soft boot than K2. I still stand by that assessment. The laces work better, the 45 works better. It's a genius setup. Still not really a fan of the buckle. It may be just because the Intuition liner is a little bit thinner. I'm not sure how they fit with the, with the stock liner, but there was always like a little bit too much gap between my leg and the liner cuff part. And I didn't really dig that. And theoretically, you could just tighten the buckle and get rid of a lot of that, but the buckle is like a pain in the ass to tighten. So a lot of times it was just easier to deal with it, which is what I did. It's worth mentioning one more time. Um, this is a stiff ass boot. Like, if you're gonna do top sides, you're gonna get low. That's the only way it's gonna happen. Then being carbon fiber, that's not really gonna compromise at any point. Like, that's that's the way that your skate's gonna be. And I definitely have a place in my heart and skate collection, I guess, for something that's super supportive. I would love to have a skate like this. I would love to have this skate. But it's definitely, I think, a consideration for a lot of people. You have to know what you're getting into. So forewarning, like this, skate is not gonna flex a lot for you. I mean, if you're skating rims and liking them, like don't, 
don't get Seba. But if you'd like a good supportive boot, I can't really think of a better option, honestly. Like, I know these skates cost a lot of money, but I can totally understand why. Like, this boot's probably going to last a long, long fucking time, and it's going to perform exactly the same for the vast majority of that time. It's great. Um, you know, any... Besides the buckle, anything that I can think of that would be an improvement on the skate is really just subjective. Like, I personally would, if this was my only skate, I would like something that was a tiny, tiny bit more flexy. But again, it's preference. And if this was, again, a skate that I had, you know, in addition to other skates, and this was like my stiff setup or my, you know, supportive setup, again, where's the flaw? I can't find it. This is a great skate. Seba SX really knocked it out of the fucking park.